chase is on in the Premier League. We are 10 points behind Manchester United. We have nine Premier League games to go. Is this even possible? Is it a title race? Hopefully we can beat Leicester in today's episode and at least keep it alive. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Leeds United Pride of Yorkshire. So in yesterday's episode, you'd have seen us getting a 1-1 draw against AC Milan. We dug in deep and we took them all the way as we went through 4-3 on aggregate. So in today's episode, we are turning our attention back to the Premier League. We are 10 points behind Manchester United in the title run. We are defending champions and will not let go of the title without a fight. So as I said yesterday, we are going to drop down to the single game format for the time being the time of year decided basically that there isn't enough time in the day to get everything done so we are just going to pump out some single match action and hopefully we are going to get that running to the Premier League all covered and hopefully it will be an exciting running too so for this episode we are just going to be facing off against Leicester let's show you the lineup that we are going to be putting out as we hope to get three more points Here we go then. So the lineup that we are going to be putting out against Leicester City is Melian in goal, Firpo, Wobat, Konate and Singo. Our back four are re-established after a few knocks and niggles at this time in the running. Uh, Phillips and Bentacore are our two holders. We've got Daniel James, De Catale and Rafinha as the attacking three. And hopefully again they are going to be giving the ball to Sheshko. Hopefully he can score the goals that will continue our chase of Manchester United. OK, then, so as always with the single episodes, we're going to show you everything that we see. We have just gone through the team lineups. The game is now underway and the first 10 was well, the first five or so minutes didn't really yield anything for us. The first 10 minutes, we have a shot on the board and the first highlight is us with a corner as Bentacle swings it in. Kanate gets the header, goes up and over the bar. So... Second highlight is Rafinha with the corner. Max Wobers hit the post this time. We're at least getting a little bit closer, but I would have appreciated it if they could have found one of those inside of the goal frame. And Rafinha has another chance. Kanata has another header. And again, the tried and trusted method of big man on the front post yields a header, but not on target. So let's try. Can we get quickly in the middle of a game here? And we've got a throw in. Singo to De Catalea. Singo with a ball to the back post. There is Firpo. And oh my gosh, Odysseus, I think his name is, is in goal, has made a tremendous save. The shadow on the ball there looks like it's about three yards over the line. But I'm presuming that the goal line technology, as rubbish as it is in this game, is uh, telling us there that the goalkeeper made a fantastic save. And that's the only way that the scoreline is nil-nil. But we're on the attack again here. Wober brings the ball out of defence to Firpo. Daniel James is going to turn. He should, probably should have run at his man. But instead, Phillips finds the ball over the top of Entercore. He's into the box. He takes a touch. Was that a cross? Or did the goalkeeper parry that? Looked like a really weird shot. It looked like he ballooned it and it kind of went to the back post. But the ball stayed in play. And somehow Leicester are on the attack. And then we take it off them high up the pitch. And Wober does a great job there. So looking at the lead tab, we can see Manchester United are actually winning. Yeah, Man UFC are winning 2-0, an own goal and a Fernandez penalty. So we really, really need to be getting three points in this game. We're just going to roll out into the second half because we've played some decent football, created some chances. Hopefully we're going to get one of those to Sheshko and he's going to be uh, finishing one of those pretty soon. Um, yeah, so scores rolling in. Uh, the, the top of the table is actually really, really close still. So there are other teams that are involved, but... Manchester United winning and we are not is causing a bit of a headache. Oh, there was a highlight there just as we were about to make a substitution. And it's Leicester on the attack as Harvey Barnes cuts inside. He's going to fire a shot. It's blocked. And it comes to Phillips who feeds Daniel James. Sheshko now is fed in behind. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. Hits it straight at him. And we are going to get a corner kick instead of a goal. Which is really disappointing as I thought that Sheshko was just going to smash that into the empty net. And Rafinha is going to swing it in. Wobers at the near post. Surely he's being held there. He was trying to jump for the ball. And I presume nothing happened. It said that maybe it was 
a free kick the other way, but I thought there was a free kick or something was going to happen, something was going to be given, and instead it actually wasn't. So we're going to bring Verratti and Gravenberch on. We're also going to bring Thiago Thomas on in place of Rafinha, and we are going to see what happens in this highlights. Madison swings the ball in, Condogbia just heads it straight out of play. So it's one of those typical, uh, it was offside anyway, but it's one of those uh, nothing really happening. And we need a goal now, so we are going to go very attacking for the last four minutes of the game. I don't think anything is going to happen. A disaster in our title running. Manchester United have ended up winning, and we haven't. So, 19 shots, 8 on target, an XG of 1.69. Not really good enough when you are trying to overhaul a 10-point lead. Let's go back to the home screen and see what is required of us now. So, after that disappointing performance, you can see that now we are 12 points behind with 8 games left to play. We do have a 2-point cushion to both Manchester City and Arsenal. And the gap to Liverpool is now back to 7 points. So, fingers crossed, we are going to be in the top 4. We really would like to snatch it from Manchester United right at the death. But, 2 draws on the bounce. At least they're not defeats. And hopefully we can take some heart from that. But, we are going to move straight on to the Hall City game in the next episode. Hopefully get back to winning ways and see... In fact, let's have a little look. Let's look at Manchester United's running. So, their schedule. So, their schedule actually reads Everton, Man City, Brentford, Tottenham, ourselves, Brighton, Leicester and Hull. So, they are playing pretty much the same teams that we are playing in and around the running to the season. So, we're not going to give up hope. I think there is still a chance that we could do this. But, it's going to be very, very difficult. So, Tomorrow, we can only win our game and see what happens elsewhere. Disaster strikes then, just as we need a win. A nil-nil draw can't penetrate that Leicester defence. That save of the goalkeeper was absolutely fantastic, as it turns out. Bit disappointed that we're now so far behind Manchester United. I don't think they're going to throw this away. They look absolutely amazing in this game. And I think we are going to have a tall order to get anywhere near them in the last eight games. But we're not going to give up considering we have to play them ourselves. And tomorrow we are going to come back for the whole City game. So if you're this far into the video and you're still watching the content, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you're brand new here, thank you again. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, that would help the channel so, so much. And I appreciate everybody that does that. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it up there and I'll see you tomorrow when we face off against Hull City. and Hopefully bounce back to winning form.